The way you hold your brush pen can actually make or break how your calligraphy or brush lettering looks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make sure you're using a brush pen the right way so you can avoid a lot of frustration. Brush pens have flexible brush tips that give you both thick and thin lines, but if you hold them the wrong way, they'll actually work against you. So here's how to hold a brush pen so it works for you and gives you the results you're expecting. First of all, make sure you're holding it at about a 45 degree angle to the paper like this. You don't want to hold it vertically or straight up and down like this. And the reason for that is if we're holding it at a 45 degree angle to the paper like this, when we press hard on the pen, we can get nice thick lines with the full side of that brush tip. If you're holding the pen too vertically, then you can press hard on the pen tip, but you can't get as thick of a line because you're not able to use the side of the brush tip. You also want to make sure to hold it to the side of your writing and not below. And again, if you're holding it below your writing, you can press hard and you won't be able to get a thick line. So that's why we hold it to the side of what we're writing so we can get those nice thick lines that we're expecting when we're doing brush lettering. And then as you use a brush pen, you want to figure out a comfortable pen grip. So this is how I hold a brush pen when I'm doing calligraphy. So I suggest taking a little bit of time just to play around with the pen and figure out a grip that feels comfortable for you. It might be the same as your usual pen grip or it might be different. You want to try to hold the pen firmly so you have good control of it. So instead of holding it loosely in your fingers like this, which doesn't give you good control, try to figure out a more firm grip on the pen so that it gives you more control and you're controlling the pen more with your wrist instead of just loosely with your fingers. Now let's talk about how to actually use a brush pen. So we use brush pens for calligraphy because they're flexible and they can give us both thick and thin lines with one pen. So to get thick lines, press hard on the brush tip for thick strokes. Notice how the pen tip flexes against the paper as you add heavy pressure. Then for thin lines, we use light pressure for those thin strokes. So we're using just the tip of the pen and light pressure. And those are the thick downstrokes and thin upstrokes that we do for calligraphy or brush lettering. So I suggest playing around with the brush pen and doing some warm-up exercises to get comfortable with it. Just scribbles, doodles, marks, anything to help you figure out what the brush pen is capable of, the kinds of lines and marks it can make. Take some time to get familiar with the pen before you even start trying to do any lettering with it, and that will help it not feel so awkward. Another thing is to adjust the paper angle if it makes it easier. So whether it's to the right or to the left, you can turn the paper any way you need to. And especially if you're left-handed, you might want to angle the paper even more. It's better to angle the paper instead of putting yourself into awkward, cramped positions. So I like to angle the paper so that I'm kind of pulling down strokes toward myself. So if I'm writing at an angle, I will turn the paper so that I'm still pulling the downstrokes towards myself like this. So angle the paper any way you need to so that it's more comfortable for you. And remember that there are all different sizes of brush pens. There are large ones, medium ones, small ones. So anytime you get a new brush pen, take the time to play around with it and get comfortable with it and figure out what it feels like to use it. So the more comfortable you feel with a brush pen, the easier doing calligraphy will be. And that's why it's important to practice using one before you dive into writing letters with it. Now I also have a free guide on my website with printable worksheets that helps you get started with using a brush pen for lettering. So check the description for a link. 
Learning how to use a brush pen is just one of the first steps to doing calligraphy. So stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you exactly how to start doing calligraphy step by step.